Marco, MK away tomorrow. What are your initial thoughts ahead of the fixture? Tough game. Um, really good footballing team. Um, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a tough game, just like every other game in this um, in this league. Uh, you know, um, anything can happen, and um, you know we uh, we go into the game um, in a positive way, and um, we're going to try and keep the momentum going. They boast the longest unbeaten run in the football league. MK, we're also in good form ourselves. It looks like a very good game on paper. Yeah, and I think it will be. Um, you know, like I said, um, they're a very good footballing team. They've got um, they've got a lot of threats, um, but so have we. Um, we've been very solid. Um, the mood's been positive, and I think you can see that um, the together to get togetherness of the group has shown um, on the pitch. And um, yeah, I, I think it'll be a good game. Do you expect it to be very different to the reverse pitch? Obviously, they're they're the home side now. Do you expect them to be very different? Um, no, I, um, I think um, they're going to be sort of similar, you know, their philosophy is to, you know, it's almost total football and, um, you, you know, they're going to stick to their, uh, stick to their guns and, um, yeah, it'll be up to us to, you know, uh, come out of that. Yeah. Yeah. That reverse fixture was our first clean sheet of the season. You're now close to a record, which we'll come on to in a second. Um, we have climbed the table in great goal scoring form. How do you think the side has evolved since that fixture in October? Um, we've become um, more solid. Uh, we've, we've worked hard on the training pitch, um, you know, to be solid. Uh, we have a good shape about us. Um, there's a, um, I'd say, better understanding. You know, like I said, we've trained a lot. We've trained a lot on it. Um, and, um, you know the togetherness of the group, the desire, um, you know, to do well, um, to turn it around. Um, I think it has shown, and you can see that um, see, see that in the results. That record. You're currently tied with Dean Henderson for the most clean sheets kept by a Shrewsbury Town goalkeeper in a League One season. Six games to break it, I guess. Good little challenge to have alongside. Just yeah. try to pick up wins as it goes. Yeah, it's a good challenge. You know, it's always it's always nice to be uh, to be getting clean sheets. Um, you know, um, I think it's um, it's a great achievement for us as a group. You know, to say, um, you know, obviously with the start of the season and when that clean sh when that first clean sheet came, so it's sort of. Um, Amazing how many clean sheets we've picked up since then, and um, it just shows again um, the desire and uh, togetherness of the group. Um, you know, the defending, the blocks. You know, the lads. The lads have been great, and um, you know, it's a uh, it, it's been a team effort. Yeah. Al, we've just had Albie out here and he said that you're as good on the ball as most of the midfield players. Is that something you've always had or is that a development of the modern goalkeeping game, do you think? Um, I think I think I have since um, ever since I come into uh, you know professional football, um, that's the sort of football I've been um, exposed to. That's the sort of um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sorry. No, that's right. um, Philosophy. Mm. Uh, that's the sort of a thing I, you know, I got exposed to. Um, that was the way to play wherever I've been, and um, you know, you still have to, you still have to practice. You still have to improve. I'm still improving every day, but yeah, I, you know, I feel comfortable on the ball. Um, so I, I think it's, um, you know, it's a, uh, it's a good thing to have, um, you know, because then we can mix it up. Um, you know, sometimes we have to go long, um, but as you, as you have seen, like uh, sometimes we have to play out, and you have to be comfortable on the ball, and the lads have to be comfortable with you. They have to, you know, they have to trust you with the ball, and I think um, the, the boys trust me with the ball. Yeah. Uh, you've first been a goalkeeper for a long time, both as a professional and then as you were growing up. How much has the position changed since you started off learning the trade, learning the goalkeeping trade? Do you think? Yeah, it's it's different, um, especially where I've learned, you know, to become a goalkeeper. Um, you know, um, I lived in Slovakia, I grew up in Slovakia, so it was a little bit different. Uh, the training's the same, I'd say. Um, you know, obviously we've added that uh, playing out part to it. You know, where there's a lot of kicking, there's a lot of passing, there's a lot of more involvement with the boys on the training pitch. Where 
maybe back in the day it was all about um, all about the goalkeeping, all about the diving around, all about being brave, you know. Um, Shot stopping side. Of yeah, the yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, the game um, has, evol has evolved, and um, you can see it um, throughout leagues, um, you know, all over the world. You know, everybody's trying to play that um, beautiful football. Um, but like I said, there's a fine, um, there's a um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, it has to be balanced. It can't always be, you know, like play, 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 play because, you know, you can get into trouble and you got to recognise um, when to play and when not to play. And um, like I said, um, you have to improve every day. You, ha you just have to train every day, um, not just on the training pitch. You have to watch clips, uh, you know, like we do. We watch clips of other teams, you know, like how they like to press and stuff like that. And then you've got to make decisions on the pitch. Mm. Okay. Thanks for your time, Mark. Thank you.